Aha! There we are. <clears throat> it went on. How do you like my glasses? Woohoo! So, I'm coming back from Boston and uh, stuck in traffic. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about some activism because we don't have enough of it. We need to get out there. We need everybody, everybody has to be hitting the streets, talking to people, talking to strangers. So how do you get started? Well, um, this is what I did. I made a goal. And my goal was to talk to one person a day about Flat Earth. Well, I went to the coffee shop, get a cup of coffee. I'd talk to somebody. And I'd hand them one of my little quarter sheet, quarter piece of paper cards with some information on it. And that's how I started making the cards. And I made made one version, then I'd upgrade it, I'd add some more things. Um, so you have to work with it. You have to uh, test things out. Isn't that how we found the flat earth? We tested it out, right? So that's what you have to do. You have to get started. You have to put one foot in front of the other and take a step. And I promise you, it won't hurt when they bite your head off. No. It <laughs> you might get some people laughing at you. But you know what? Here we go again. It's the law of averages. It's the law of statistics where you got to say hooray for the nose. Because you know a yes is coming. Now these glasses, I'm telling you, they are funny looking, but... Nothing is better than these yellow lenses. I think they were called amber vision or something. They're a little bit darker, amber vision, but it filters out the blue and your eyes can see very clearly because um, it filters out the blue rays, which seem to make you squint. And so you can rest your face. So it's nice. But um, yes, I. I would really love everyone who is listening to this to make a goal right now. Right now. Just say, I am going to speak to one person a day about Flat Earth. And see how that works for you. It did not take very long before I was upping that. And I even cheated. I would say, okay... Um, I talked to three or four people today so I can have tomorrow off. But inevitably, I would be running into someone and my cup was overflowing. So, you know, why do you want to miss out on that blessing anyway? If you've got this wonderful news, and I'm going to clarify that too. In the other video, I said the gospel. And yes, it is. Because the whole Bible is about God, Jesus, and it's all good news. See, that's what the churches try to do is say that the gospel is only that Jesus died on the cross. It's not only that, because unless you know the whole story, it's really meaningless to you. So, the whole thing is the good news. And here we have... Genesis, again, if you don't get Genesis, you are not going to get Revelation. You are not going to get anything in between. So, you might as well just accept Genesis. And let me back on that. I'll backtrack and say, you, you can read Genesis and then you go out and test it. And you'll find that it's true. In fact, the whole Bible, you can say, God, if this is true, prove it to me. Please prove it to me. And he'll do that. He will do that. <clears throat> so, the gospel is all the good news, all the truth of God's word. 
It's truth. Um, so get started and make that commitment today. I am going to speak to one person a day about Flat Earth. And I know there's a lot of Flat Earthers who are not sure who the Creator is yet. I think I know pretty, pretty sure. I know. But um, you have to figure that out for yourself too. So ask him to reveal himself to you and he will do that. So make that commitment. Make this the first day of the rest of your life. Get started. Um, if you contact flatearth101.com, they have these nice little cards, which look what I did. Let me show you. Can you see that? I put them on my car. And it says research flat earth on the other side. And I put one over there too. So can you see that? Yeah. So when I'm driving, then people look at my door and they say it says research flat earth on the other side of the card. I thought that would be easier to see. Driving 85 miles an hour. Oh, I mean 65 down the road. Um, so did you all make your commitment? Did you all promise to speak to one person a day? That's what it's going to take. And it doesn't matter if they reject you. It does not matter at all. Because it's not you they're rejecting. It is not you they are rejecting. Now, if you ever need encouragement, if you ever need a positive word, please just contact me. You can put a message on one of my videos. You can, and I have two channels. I'll explain this. I have two channels. One is, it all has to do with the camera that I'm using. If it's my regular cell phone camera, then that's my Yahoo account on YouTube. But I decided I was gonna use this camera here, which is an old T-Mobile phone, and it would only allow me to have a Gmail so I had to make a new account on YouTube with Gmail so I could upload from this phone, which is not a phone anymore because it doesn't have service, phone service. So if I'm near an internet, I can push YouTube and it'll just upload to YouTube. Then I have to go online conversion, convert it to an MP4, and then upload it to my other channel. So. My Yahoo channel has a lot more um, subscri subscribers to it, and this Gmail uh, doesn't have that many. But that's why. I'm not trying to pull any fast ones here. <clears throat> so, okay. So I just wanted to make sure that you all made that commitment to speak to one person a day about flat earth. That's all I needed you to do. Okay? That'll get you started. And I'm telling you, we love you. Our flat earth community is the closest I have ever felt to any group of people. And believe me, I have been in many churches, many churches. And I just could not feel comfortable. I didn't feel at home. I did not feel that camaraderie, that closeness. But there's people in the flat earth community that really get it. They get me, they get it, they get the way I believe. And that's the way it's supposed to be is you decide how you believe and how you think of things. And then you find like-minded people and then you come together and that's what a church is. That's what a community is. That's what it is. So I think that this group is the most cohesive for me I've ever found. 
I'm going to uh, give a little Yahoo to um, Rob Skiba posted a, a video of a guy who spoke at the uh, Canada conference, a tall tennis player, and I don't know his name, but I posted his talk on my Facebook page. And I think he was from Austin, Texas. He liked to play tennis. I don't remember his name. Anyway, that was probably the best sermon I have heard in a long, long time. And I don't think he realized he was giving a sermon. But that's the way I think a sermon should be. You know, it came from his heart. It was about God and his word. And it was, it was just good and it had humor which a lot of people didn't catch but I was smiling but I didn't want to I didn't want to laugh because then I would have missed the next thing he didn't wait and give that pause <laughs> for people to catch it and laugh so his delivery needs a little bit of work but I, I tell you he was right on so okay that's enough rambling for today or at least for this morning um love you people get out there talk to that one person today and um happy flat earthing bye